How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video we have one seventh inning boss confirmed and we also have one player program within the seventh inning that has been slightly leaked or potentially leaked. So we'll go ahead and talk about that as well. Let's go ahead and get right into it. The developers gave us a clue regarding the seventh inning program in game letting us know the wait is almost over. Then they tweeted out this attribute clue and to me, this gave it away. This is automatically Tony Gwynn. I quoted the tweet, posted it up, and I think uh, I thought we'd be correct on this one. Saw a lot of other people also saying that Tony Gwynn will be one of the seventh inning bosses. This card looks like he will have a little bit more power against lefties. Kind of interesting. Uh, but should have, you know, 70, 75 power. Maybe a little bit less, but it could reach that 80 threshold. Uh, with parallel five but we do in fact see signature series tony gwynn and if we got the same exact card with the same attributes from a couple of years ago i think he had 67 power so that might max out you know at 72 with parallel tier five uh, but all around should have diamond defense should have close to 90 speed if not above 90 with that parallel system maybe even like 94 i think he had 89 on his previous card uh, but this signature series, Tony Gwynn, should be pretty good. He is a contact hitter. Will have maxed out contact against both sides. I don't know. I think he'll be pretty effective. Might not hit, you know, ton of home runs on Legend, but will still be pretty good. This next clue is for the upcoming player program that comes out with the seventh inning program. And I guess this has already been leaked as a Cleveland Indians version of Joe Carter, a 30-30 milestone card. I don't know how that was leaked. I saw Kevin G.O.D. talk about it on Twitter, mentioning the fact that they revealed that card in the previous live stream by accident. I, I don't know. I wasn't a part of that live stream. I was working, so I was not able to tune in. But this should, in fact, be the card. 1987, 30-30, milestone card. 30 home runs, 30 stolen bases. Shout out to MLB TS Card Art, MLB The Show Card Art over on Twitter if you're interested in giving him a follow, go ahead and uh, type in the same tag there that's listed on Instagram, right into Twitter, you can hit him with the follow, he posts some great concept art, and we should in fact see a 99 overall Joe Carter, I would expect that card to be a 99, maybe he's at a 98, uh, but we're going to go ahead and open up a couple of free packs, we do have some guaranteed diamonds in here, with a 6th inning classic pack and an NL East pack, we also just pulled a diamond equipment, there's another diamond this looks like a 90 plus overall okay i'll take that i think this might be a pitcher uh, with the high socks i'm not really sure oral hersheiser okay it is a pitcher 91 overall legend second half this card's probably going for yeah a good amount Thirty-six thousand stubs that's pretty decent for a diamond especially a card that's featured in the headliners i think so i'm i'm not even sure where that card came from it's been, uh, it's been a while since he was released. But uh, maybe we have another diamond here. Paul Goldschmidt, he could get upgraded. Looks like some other people might think so as well. He's going for about 3K. There's another one. The final pack, or at least one of the final packs. We get a diamond here. And this looks like another pitcher to me. I, I can't tell by the player build. Okay, it is. John Musgrove. John Musgrove. Um... That's all right. He's going for 5K. That's a quick sell diamond right there, 85. Oh, we have one more bomb pack. So we'll go ahead and open up this one. Just the gold. I'll take it, though. Per a couple solid diamond pulls. I, I can't complain there. We also have a guaranteed classic diamond. And I think I'm just going to take Lorenzo Cain. Patrick Corbin might be going for the most later on, depending if we need these finest cards as a part of a collection. Um... I know we need the postseason cards, so that Corbin might go up. But we should expect to see more postseason cards released once the actual playoffs take place. Uh, but here we have an NL East pack. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a player that I can add to my Detroit Tigers team. And we already have Gary Sheffield, so this will in fact be Eddie Matthews. We can plug him in right at third base. This card looks pretty good against righties. I don't think I would use him against lefties. We might go ahead and... Uh, you know, pinch hit or platoon him with maybe somebody else. I know I need to pick up Pudge, but this is the all-time Tiger squad. Not bad at all. Coming in at like a 95, 96 overall team. I recently uh, remembered that Chad Green was drafted by the Tigers, so we plugged him in 
as a setup guy, we, our bullpen's struggling a little bit, but we also need to pick up Hal Newhauser. Um, I don't know if I'll play with that team that many more times, but uh, with this being said, I think we can expect to see some pretty good seventh inning bosses. I think Tony Gwynn might have been the worst one out of them all, and if that's the case, then it should be a pretty good program in general because that Tony Gwynn card will still be very good. I just don't know how many people will choose him over uh, potential Hank Aaron. But that's going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty, and hopefully you enjoyed. Peace out.